Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8 Eric. Welcome back to the channel. A couple weeks ago, I introduced you guys to a gameplay capture service called Metal.TV. Well, today we're going to go a little bit more in depth with the review of it. We're also going to compare it to other similar services like Lowkey.gg, NVIDIA Shadowplay, and more. Full disclosure, this is a sponsored video. To check out Metal.TV, I will have a link down below. It's completely free to download and sign up. This is a good way to capture gameplay for lower-end PCs without affecting your actual gameplay. It works pretty smoothly. It's non-intrusive, and it has a lot of cool social media-based features as well that I showed in the last video, but we're kind of kind of do like a little refresher real quick show you guys some of the features and stuff of metal.tv and then we're going to do a comparison to the competitors like i said so sit back relax let's begin the video all right so my last video i touched on uh metal.tv showed some of the features and things like that again do a little bit of a refresher just for you guys maybe this is your first time watching this video but i'm going to leave a link also to my previous one so this is basically the metal.tv desktop app so you could download it and take a look at it and this is the home page from here you have access to a lot of stuff for example this is the main home page it recommends a lot of different content based on what games you're following on the left right here you can see i'm following rocket league minecraft gta 5 pubg friday 13th fortnite you can also add a lot of other games these are all the games on here that are um, compatible with it that will automatically be detected this is the trending page there's also you're able to look sort through a to z but you can see there's a lot of them in here among us sea of thieves uh red dead 2 dota battlefield sims uh you name it call of duty fallout halo lots of games on here that you could automatically record and get your clips from that run in the background of your pc again to my knowledge this works best with pc games i couldn't figure out how to make it work with console but nevertheless it's perfect let's say you're a fortnite streamer you can use this to easily capture your stuff and you can add, add and edit and follow your games and stuff so from there you get this for you page and it gets you uh, in touch with other creators so this is for example smoke 6162 he's playing sea of thieves you can see his clips you could comment you see there's popular comments you're able to follow other users so for example if i wanted to go check in this guy's profile jersey rel it's almost like a twitter and facebook common combined with like twitch you can see their posts you can see what they're playing you can see uh trending hashtags so happening now is what's the trending hashtags it's it's actually pretty impressive i also have a couple friends here that i'm following kano kaona and grindhead jim so i can go and see you know what grindhead jim's doing see his links and get in contact it's a really impressive social media thing or if i wanted to upload or post something the metal i could come up here i could post a metal make a new montage import a video file choose from a library um i could discover new new content i could take a look at games there's a lot to sink the teeth into. It's very impressive with what's all here. You can even watch people live um, with Rawa, Rawa TV, which is powered by Metal. So they also have a thing right here you can watch live. Top channels. Uh, you can see everybody who's using this. So it's actually really cool. It's all combined together with Metal. Um, there's also conversations. Uh, once you get 10 followers you can unlock metrics for yourself to me it's a perfect way of having resources and stuff to grow as a content creator now here's my profile just to take a look at you can see i played fortnite five hours ago i have my twitter my reddit and my tumblr connected i have two followers i have my session this is my full um fortnite session clip this is a clip from it from the session that i had a, a couple weeks ago when i first played the game just testing out the thing i wanted to really see what this game was all about or, or metal.tv and see what it was all about but you could see um i could share this out if you guys join metal.tv be sure to give me a follow you see all my posts uh i do have um a few clips up not the best i'm still brand new to the service um but from here 
let's say I wanted to uh, to uh, take a look at some of my clips we can actually go um, over here let's choose from my library and uh, let's choose let's choose this clip I can actually this is a clip that I actually had um, from earlier you can see I, I, I'm able to um, tag people you can add at people from the program you can ha add hashtags um, there's all sorts of stuff you could do you can actually choose to have it unlisted I could put it on Twitter so let's see um, let's go ahead and share that to Twitter and let's share that to my um, 8-bit Eric discord I mean uh, my, my reddit 8-bit Eric and you'll see up here it shows it'll be shared when it finishes processing so let's upload and share it to my social so just as quick as like that I'm uploading clips that I already had but in a minute I'm gonna play around with Fortnite and actually show you guys how easy it is to actually use the F8 hotkey to create clips that you can actually go back and share and do this stuff as well so a lot of stuff here it's very impressive now to touch on real quick I showed you guys um, some of the settings we'll go ahead and talk about them because there's some unique stuff right here especially when it comes to recording uh, the one thing that I could show you right here is that you're able to change your resolution your FPS your bitrate your video encoder and how long you want the length of your clip um, you can also choose the aspect ratio uh, minimize maximize the clip performance which this means it prioritizes metal in your GPU settings uh, this means more resources for metal and your clips will be silky smooth uh, there's also full session recording you could choose to record your entire session instead of using a hotkey or you could just do the hotkey which is like F8 and that'll kind of bookmark a spot for you to have your stuff there's automatic uploads clip privacy um, automatically copy links you could choose to have you know advanced window capture there's also a in case you missed it uh, setting which is really cool this creates clips and bookmarks them automatically it does not automatically upload though but you're able to use it for certain games that are supported by metal which these are the ones that I currently have enabled um, you can start up your notifications your games um, your hotkeys so there's quite a bit right here. You could test your mic, your microphone input. Uh, you could do game audio only, so where it's not picking up your mic. Um, lots of stuff here. It's pretty robust as far as the settings go. So something for everybody. It's almost like Metal.TV is a full video editor with a social media platform on top of it. Now this is really cool. I just started Fortnite up and it's already automatically detected and recording it. So you can see right here in a minute. Also, just to let you know, Metal.TV is also available on mobile. Yeah, there's a mobile app which allows you to clip your mobile games on Android while you can watch and upload clips in the iOS app. So directly clipping on iOS is coming soon. But if you're an Android user, it's really easy to edit, upload them and work with Metal.TV on your phone. Now, let's go ahead and show you guys how to clip on the PC using Metal. We're going to play some Fortnite real quick just to show you guys how to clip, okay? If you look right here on the top right, now recording, press F8 to save a clip. So, it's as simple as pushing F8 to save your clip. So, I'm going to show you guys. We're going to load it up, and we're going to play some Fortnite. We've run things successfully. Now, I typically don't play Fortnite on the PC too much, but it's always fun. We're going to do uh, solo mode. Now, reminder, you could choose to record your whole session, and uh, I think those I currently have it on. Um, but if at any time you wanted to hit F8, you could bookmark a clip, and it'll save the uh, most recent 15 seconds, and it'll automatically upload it as well. So you're going to see when we're done with this game, all the clips that I shared by hitting F8. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead, and uh, we'll, go, uh, we'll go to Believer Beach. We will go to Believer Beach. Now, my, my gameplay might be stuttering a little bit just because I am. I, I typically don't play on PC. Um, but you'll see why Metal.TV works for lower end PCs. Why it's ideal. Why it, it makes things a little bit easier. I'm going to go ahead and push another F8 just for, for stuff to play around with. 
when we uh when we have our clips to be checked. All right, so we are in Believer Beach. I play Fortnite a lot on stream, by the way. If you guys haven't checked out my streams, um, I usually stream Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, 9 p.m., 10 p.m. Central Time. Love to see you guys there. But for now, oh, somebody's shooting at me. Where's he at? Where are you at? Yeah, his aim sucks. I <laughs> got him. So yeah, as I mentioned, it is automatically recording the gameplay. You can set it up to record your whole full session. F8 to automatically get clips and detect them. I'm also going to, uh, where was he at? <laughs> Who was shooting at me? Where's Eric? I think there's a lot of, uh, action going on in this area. You're not done yet, but it, it, it's always good to see you. You're looking great today, by the way. I love your style. And we got some good, uh, good leveled missions. These uh, missions that I'm working on are giving a lot of XP. There's 16 of us left and we're playing solos. Wow, this round's going by quick. Okay, I guess I'm just kind of wandering around. Um, I'm honestly surprised it's this quiet. Too many people around. I'm honestly trying to find the next golden coin too. Get the slurp. Get my slurp on. So I don't, so I don't die. All right, so I have all of my footage recorded. It's clipped. The The hardest part is the easiest part, the most funnest part. It's putting your game up and just getting your clips. It couldn't be as simple as that with Metal TV. Honestly, compared to the other ones, we're going to take a look at some of the competitors, by the way, that compete with Metal TV. I feel this one just has a lot to offer. Like I said, I know I'm sounding like I'm cheesing it up a bit, but, you know, this day and age with short form content like TikTok and Instagram Reels and even Twitter and most importantly, YouTube Shorts, it's good to have a easy and fast way to be able to make these clips so you can share them out to your audience. And I find Metal TV offers the most variety to being able to save them and share them all at once. I mean, I can share them to Twitter, Reddit, and Tumblr because I have them all connected all at once. I could even download the files. I could send them to my phone and share them through the iOS app or the Android app. You can even create them from there. So there's quite a bit of possibilities when it comes to using this in tandem with the phone app. Honestly, and for the price of free, you can't beat that. All right, so I got 19 clips just from that. So let's go ahead and go to our library. And you can see we got 19 clips ready to publish. So every single clip that I got out of that run is right here. And you could choose to actually upload them. So let's go ahead and continue to upload. We're going to publish them. Um, you could put your captions. It says that if you, if you put captions, it's more likely to get it trending. But we're just gonna we're just gonna upload them as as is, just like my channel, my YouTube channel, right? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think we can I think we can uh, uh, edit as well. Let's put Fortnite, and you can see my in case you missed it. You can see newest in case you missed it videos. It actually grabbed three of them, so we have three of these in case you missed it actually set up already and you can see i could even tweet it i could tag people i can add hashtags i could set it up to discord twitter reddit tumblr so pretty legit honestly wow choose to upload it can make a montage out of it now we're gonna do a couple of comparisons so let's just overview real quick at metal.tv does you remember metal tv has like a huge amount of variety that you can use like features and different ways of communicating with people starting a community meeting other users and things like that which i think sets it apart from let's look at lowkey.gg so this is lowkey.gg i just signed up i haven't really done much but here's the browsing section um it literally has a bad interface you have these big videos that are just covering more than half the screen uh, you'll see comments, but there's no way of really engaging with anybody. It doesn't even look like it's a a good user interface. Um, you have messages that you could do. You could type a new message to people. Uh, the profile just doesn't look as interactive. 
um it says waiting for a game to start and start recording but just overall you look at the user interface it just doesn't look as nice to me metal.tv just has a lot more stuff that you can use to grow as a content creator so that's one difference there between one of the competitors all right so i have steel gg so i have steel series gg up and boy is this so confusing <laughs> like like i gotta do stuff dude it's like so much more robust than like it says it's ready to capture but how, how do you even capture like how do you guess it saved some of it but you know to me it just it seemed a little bit more complicated to figure out and it doesn't even have like the community settings it just looks like a bunch of advertisements and like blog posts and random things. It doesn't even seem like it's some kind of content creator community hub. And now to touch on NVIDIA Shadow Play, all this is a little share feature that pops up. It's not even like an app. It's part of the NVIDIA uh, G experience. And you just click the share thing and it gives you the ability to screenshot you also have a hotkey of Alt F1, photo mode, game filter, instant replay, record, broadcast live. It's it's not even uh, as robust as Metal.TV or dare I even say LowKey.GG. It's just a little overlay that you just have on top of your game or your system. So it's basic. It's not even it's not even as as from a content creation standpoint, not even really worth it. So yeah, as you can see, compared to the other ones, man, I just think Metal TV just has a little bit more to offer. Just looks so much better. Just look at this nice, sleek, dark interface. Uh, you know, all the settings that you can use. It really lets you, you know, you can put your personal info, you connect your mobile phone, your account. And then on top of that, just being able to do the settings for your capturing and everything like that. You can enable... Um, all of your settings to make sure that your clips run all right it's literally pretty robust and pretty impressive um you know you could choose your general recording you do full session recording you can choose what you know settings you have for publishing then you have you know your sound you have just so much to it it's 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 literally like the best of both worlds of a video editor slash a broadcast software and a social media network just crumbled together while some of the other ones that we looked at like shadow play just bare minimum being able to record your screen like there's nothing behind it there's no communication there's no community behind it there's no content creation and then in addition to like you know low-key gg it just it didn't look right it just looked like a very basic and primal program there was no like i guess uh drip to it <laughs> like metal tv has so i just like the way metal looks as a whole especially you know because i could i could grow a whole different audience on here like you know you got youtube and twitch and all that well you can actually grow an audience off of metal tv as well so honestly i think that's really what it comes down to is the ease of being able to use it but the amount of features that you get behind it as well you know, you don't want something to be so intimidating that you're completely lost while you're trying to use it. Because then you're like, oh my gosh, I'm in over my head. I don't know how to use any of this stuff. The settings look too hard. Uh, just setting it up and installing it is a pain. You know, like I've seen software in the past, even just for like OBS, like using to just broadcast your streams. Sometimes it can be a little bit intimidating but it just seems that the way that the user interface and just everything that's about metal TV just makes it simple and easy to use. And in my book, that's a victory. So compared to some of these other ones, there's just not enough. There's not enough communication creation tools. And then the user interface just looks basic. And then some of them is just kind of like, okay, I'm lost. I don't know what to do.
So with that said, comparing the other ones, just doing a quick overview of some of the basic overlays and features and stuff, Metal.TV seems like it just has so much more to offer from a content creator standpoint, especially if you're looking for something to be able to share your clips across all of your social medias, get your name known out there, get your clips shown, and just an easy way for a lower end computer to capture the gameplay footage and everything. So I'm going to leave a link down below. Go ahead and click it if you're interested in signing up for metal.tv. Thank you guys for watching as always. I will see you on the next one.